Welcome back, welcome back. This is Nikada Media House. You know, just want to say good morning, good afternoon, good night. You know, whenever you're watching this video back on the replay, you know, for a few of those Spanish people that watch the channel, you know, buena dia, buena tardes, you know, buenas noches, you know, I I really appreciate everything, you know, everyone that's supporting the videos and stuff like that. You know, mucho gracias, amigos, you know, thank you so much. Yeah, I know, I just really appreciate it, you know, gracias, thank you. Um, World Cup final, you know, the World Cup final is going across the border, you know, Mexico have just beaten Panama 1-0. You know, Panama are still scoreless in a final in the World Cup. You know, they haven't scored a goal in open play in a World Cup final. They've been there three times, you know, back in 2005, 2013, and now 2023, you know. But coming into this game, um, Mexico called Jamie, Jamie Lozano had a big, big decision to make. You know, Edson Alvarez was injured in that quarterfinal game. He's, he's sit out. The first half, you know, you came in in the seventh some minute in Jamaica game in the semifinal, and you know if he's supposed to start over Eric Sanchez, and he did get the start over Eric Sanchez, you know, Edson Edson Alvarez, you know, he played a, you know, he played a very decent game up to par, you know, not his best, but you know, it, you know, it's still good enough to get them over the line, and you know, but. That first half, man, it was a really exciting game. The first half was really exciting. You know, in the first two minutes of the game, this the the, the the maestro in the middle, you know, Carasquila, you know, he gave that true pass to Ishmael Diaz, you know, and I don't know what he's doing, man. You know, he should have scored that goal. And you have to take your chance. You get the chance against the Mexican, you have to you have to take it in open hands, you know, and he flipped the ball and the defender took it away from him, man. From there, it was end-to-end -end game, you know, in the in the first half, um, I think the possession was about 49 to 50. You know, um, in the first half, Mexico took 14 shots and Panama took six shots. You know, Mexico had three on target, Panama had one on, one on target, you know. That was the big chance they gave up in the first half, you know, but still, they still played a very good game. I think the way how they set out tactically, that three in the back and that four man in midfield and the three guys up front you know it was really spot on but it just not good enough to take them over the line as mexico beat them one zero but it's just funny how the um thomas christian said the, the the panamanian coach you know he set up the team you know he played with three at the back and two wing back but those two guys in the middle carasquilla and Godot, you know, they really, really stand out play in this tournament. You know, they played they played very well today. You know, as Carasquilla did everything he could have done. You know, he won the Golden Ball Award. You know, he's the second player to win a Golden Ball Award and have not bring the title home. But it's 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 that four men in the midfield, you know, he, he took those two wingers up front from the front tree and dropped them in deep which was Quintero and Ishmael Diaz and they blacked out the Mexicans you know from creating through the middle you know Chavez have a very poor game today you know Romo being excellent you know in the second in in the first half you know Romo be drifting wide a lot on that right side because it was too clogged inside you know the, the Panamanian you know they did everything not to let the, the Mexicans create through that through that midfield with Romo and Chavez, you know, at one point, you know, they pinned down Pineda and, and Tuna on that side, you know, the Mexicans, they haven't pushed their full backups, they haven't got the license to go forward a lot because the, the Panamanian, they did everything but on the Panama side, um, Eric, they are, Eric Davis, man, the left back, you know, that's where most of the threats um, came from in this tournament, you know, Eric Davis, man, you know, that's where most of you know that's where all threats and every but on the flip side man with with panama you know on that left side ish uh not ishmael eric diaz oh my god you know he was so poor he came off the pitch in the second half he was so poor because for this panama team eric davis is the one that 
pull the team forward. He's the one that get the ball inside the box. He's the one that move. He's the one that always breaking out in transition. But on the other side, Barcelona's the number ten. Brilliant man, brilliant. You know, for a winger, a natural winger is playing a right full back. You know, he could play right full back, he could play left full back as we saw in the last couple minutes, around twenty minutes in the second half. He played as a left left wing back when Eric Davis came off. But you know, it, it just didn't click. It wasn't clicking in the, on that left side for Panama and that's their strongest side. You know, Ishmael Diaz really had a poor game. You know, he just couldn't get going. You know, Quintero has a de Quintero you know, he had a decent game, you know, he was trying to link up play with, with Kodoy and Carasquilla, with, with, with um, Farado, the striker, you know, he couldn't even get a sniff on the goal, you know, the, the Mexicans were all over them. Yeah, but um, that that offside goal, you know, that Henry Martin score that was set up by uh, Luis Romo, you know, he drift wide and Pineda played that ball out on the right side and he pinned the ball in and trying to set up Henry Martin but watching that game the moment I saw that goal I was like hey I think they should check that goal because I think Henry Martin was drifting a little bit too far and they did and it was called offside you know um, Panama goalkeeper Mosqueda you know he made a save in the 42nd minute where Pineda was trying you know he made that double save you know I think one of the shots came from Pineda and the next one, I think it was from um, Romo or Chavez, one of them. But yeah, he was brilliant in the game, man. He was really excellent. You know, he made a couple of saves, you know. You know, but overall, even in the second half, you know, but but overall, even in the second half, you know, um, the game was really pretty much even. You know, it finished like what? Mexico had, what, 52 possession. Panama had, what, I think around 48, something like that. But um, I think in that second half, you know, the Panamanian made a, a couple of changes and brought a couple of guys off the bench. But, you know, I think their bench, you know, it kind of failed, failed them a little bit. You know, they didn't have enough firepower on that bench, you know, where the Mexican brought on Santiago Jimenez, the young wonder kid who plays in the Dutch League for final. You know, he, he came on the pitch and Jimenez was stern and, you know, Cummings was... He was on a he was already on a yellow card so he couldn't done enough you know he was trying his best not to hold him because you know if he fought he will get another yellow card and that would be a red but you know it's a beautiful run by santiago Jimenez and it's a wonderful finish you know to put the mexicans one up you know mexican brought on you know um santiago Jimenez, you know um um, Carl, not Carlos, Eric Sanchez, you know, so they have players that could change the game and that's what they did and, you know, he, he came on the pitch and he took his chance but this Panama team, man, they, they, they really, really um, surprised a lot of people in this tournament. You know, they have a really good squad. Yeah, man, you know, this is a really a good, good tournament. You know, I really excited, you know, I was kind of disappointed as I you know what team and what country I support, you see my background. But yeah, I really have to um shout out to the Mexicans, you know, especially Jim Lozano. I think he deserved this job. You know, he's the interim manager. He took over from Diego Coco after he lost that game against the US in the final three one, no three zero, you know, but he brought back life, he brought back spirit, he brought back energy. You know, even when he saw that Jamaica game when they played in Las Vegas, you know, in the Ali James Stadium, that stadium hold like 62,000 capacity for a soccer game. You know, I, this capacity in that, in, in, in that game in the semifinal, Mexico versus Jamaica, you know, it was like around close to 40,000, you know. It, um, whenever a Mexico game is playing on the West Coast in America, it's always a full house. And that's what they did in the final you know the game sold out you know so most fans didn't really you know trust this team you know the mexicans haven't really played good they get knocked out of the work of in the group stage you know a lot of limbos you know a lot of media outlet you know calling for the for the president to be fired to be just evil to walk away from his job and trying to rebuild the process you know so for for jamie lazana to come in all these limbos and pressure and to do this and 
took the team over the line and win their nine gold cup you know it's a tremendous job and i think the president for the mexican federation you know they have to reward him it would be really really shame not to see jamie lozano get this job you know but as i said he brought back spirit life and energy especially from the fans you know i believe but is it you know um so is is it a, is it a done job with this team no they have a long way to go you know they have a long building process you know they haven't really playing well over the last couple of months or probably up to a year you know so but kudos to jamie lozano man yeah you know he was he was the um the coach of the under 23 team that got brands in the pan american games you know he he managed quite a few of these players that played tonight especially vasco the both center of a montes you know so pineda you know and tonal alvarado you know most of these guys were playing the pan american in 2019 so yeah he he, he know all these players so he, he got the job done you know kudos appreciate that man yeah so you know that's it quick reaction video you know thank you for watching the Carter media house you know i really appreciate it you know for all those guatemalan fans that you know link me through my dm you know thank you man muchas gracias you know i really appreciate it man thanks peace out